decision. Well, let's start the conversation by speaking to Dr. Noor al Haq Nasimi, the director of the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. When you look at pictures today, I mean 24 hours, and the Taliban have taken three big strongholds, and now they're in a stronger position than they were 20 years ago when we went <coughs> in and toppled them. I mean, this is a disaster. Well, I think, yes, it is a disaster. The people of Afghanistan has been suffering for over 42 years since the Russian invasion in 1979. So once the Russian been kicked out, then we had the civil war between different fraction of Mujahideen. And then we had the Taliban take over the control of the country in 1997. So now, uh, in 2001, then we had the NATO intervention, where the people of Afghanistan uh, were feeling that eventually, after so many years of war and devastation, the history of Afghanistan will have a new page by having a strong partnership with the United States and other in the, the members of the international community. So listening the speech of the President of the United States, telling that the U.S. want to withdraw their troops by the end of this month, I mean, by the by 11th of September, it made the people of Afghanistan very, very angry. They were very upset. They are very, very anxious about the decision made by the uh, U.S. administration. Uh, although the UK uh, Minister of Defense uh, made a clear statement where, the, where Britain, they tried to encourage the member of NATO, NATO members, to stay in Afghanistan. But unfortunately, those members of uh, NATO, they haven't accepted this, uh, this uh, suggestion from the UK government. But then, from 2001 until now, I think we had so much progress, so much achievements in terms of the women rights, human rights, a strong civil society, number of elections, whether those elections been transparent or not, this is another question. Mm -hmm. But at least there, there, we had some number of parliamentary election, presidential election, uh, the, a strong, uh, the strong civil society. Uh, there were some uh, achievements in terms of improving the uh, rule of law, uh, the, uh, the government governance institution. But then suddenly, listening to the U.S. administration, telling the people, telling the world, we want to leave Afghanistan. This is up to the Afghanistan people to look after their security. But then, after the announcement of the U.S. administration, we, 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 uh, we witnessed a uh, number of districts and provinces by being seized by the Taliban uh, just for, for the past two months. Uh, the situation on women rights and human rights is a very, very, very horrible and very, very uh, bad. Uh, over 500,000 people just in two months, uh, they displaced. So the situation around internal, internal displaced, uh, or displaced, uh, dis displaced people became a very big concern because the people who are leaving their hometowns uh, walking through the mountain to get to a safer place. In particular, they are, the, most of the people, they, they, they arrive in Kabul. But then in Kabul, they don't have access to food. They don't have access to shelter. They don't have access to housing. So it's good that we are, we are now in the summer. What will happen in, the, in, in, in two months' time when the winter comes? When, I mean, Joe Biden said, you know, the Afghans need to, have to want to fight the insurgent Taliban. But my understanding of Afghanistan is it is so fractious anyway, with so many different tribes, ethnicities mm. and languages. Is there a sense of cohesion or Afghan identity big enough and strong enough to face down the Taliban? So this is a big uh, concern. After 20 years of uh, leadership 
بای کرزای ان اشرف غنی احمزای د یونیتی دت وی هاد ان د پاست ان فورچنتلی نو مور اگزیست دیفرنت فکشن اف اف د ترایب دی ار ناو جست دی ار فولوینگ دی ار اون لیدرز دی ار اون کلچر دی ار اون ایدنتیتی And also, I don't think that they would have enough and a strong uh, unity that they had during the Soviet invasion, where as a result they managed to kick Ro the Russian out in 1989. Um, on the other hand, I think that uh, I don't think without the uh, U.S. and or U.K. commitment uh, beyond 2001. Afghanistan will continue to exist as a one nation, as a one country. I think that Afghanistan will split into different autonomous zones. Now, I understand you've written a letter to the Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab yeah. uh, urging him to mm -hmm. consider sending UK support back to the region. Can you tell me a bit about that? So we had a a meeting at the Afghanistan and Central Asian Association on the 7th of August last Saturday in Feltham, where we had members of the diaspora and also some uh, journalists uh, from South West London Press. Uh, then the member of the diaspora, they had the opportunity to share their concerns, the, to share their suggestions and proposal uh, to the uh, South London press. Uh, so at the end of the meeting, there was a suggestion uh, if we can write a petition or a letter to the foreign secretary asking the UK government to continue supporting Afghanistan beyond, beyond 2021, asking the UK government to give us another chance where we can maybe learn from the past mistake, where we can uh, establish a very strong and inclusive government.